What's up guys, it's Robbie. Um, just gonna do a quick little uh, comparison video of the two, uh, the two helmets I have right now from Jordan's Ironic Armory. Um, I've got his V1 cap helmet and his V2, the newest one. Um, I had the V1, I've had it for I guess year and a half maybe? Year, year and a half, something like that. Um, love it, love it. Um, but then I got to see his V2 up close at Dragon Con. Uh, this past Labor Day weekend, and had to have a new one. Um, not not a whole lot of different um, if you just glance at it, but I like details, so the upgrade to me is worth it. So um, I guess without further ado, let's uh, let's show them off. So this is the V1 right here. Beautiful helmet. It's the V1. Um, let's get close to the camera. There it is. And you'll see that mine is not weathered, aside from the scuffs and things that happen just from wearing it and bang banging your head into things. Um, getting closer. There we go. Hello. All right. So that's that one. Um, it's got uh, the faux leather inside, uh, the liner. It's got the strapping. Chin cup right there. And yeah, awesome helmet. Um, I love it. This is uh, again, this is the V1. So I'm going to show the V2 now, and then we're going to talk about the differences between the two. So this is the V2. A little different, um, color wise, but we'll show, we'll show that side by side in a minute. This is the V2 with uh, the weathered version. I got opted for weathered this time. Um, since my in-game suit is really weathered, um, it didn't make sense to have a clean helmet with the dirty costume. So that's uh, that's what I've got going on there. You can already tell if you're if you're quick at looking at these kind of things. The details are a little bit different. Um, they're better. They're better on the new one. Um, just in like the the strapping and the stitching and stuff, it just looks nicer and the colors are more accurate. Um, yeah. So again, chin cup there. But the little, little small differences in these two helmets, though, that uh, that really uh, really make them make them special. Um, so let's pull them side by side here. This is the V1. This is the V2. You'll see slight difference in color, not a lot. Um, the my V2 is a little bit lighter. Wait, this is a V2. V2 is a little bit lighter, and. Uh, you can see that the, uh, the little spots next to the wings are smaller, and they're actually cast into the helmet instead of being a 3D printed add-on piece, which I think is nice. Um, 3D printed stuff's great. Uh, I I would rather have it cast in just in case something happens and it gets it gets knocked off or broken. Um, beautiful, beautiful helmets. Uh, so right here, if we look at the sides of the, uh, yep, yeah, right there. Get it up there. Okay, closer. I'm working in a mirror here, so it's kind of screwy. Here, here. Okay. So the the V1 come, didn't didn't come with this buckle. Eh, this buckle, this buckle didn't come with that. I added that on after it was discovered on one of the cap groups. It did come with a 3D printed buckle, which was great. It worked fine. Um, but again, upgrades, upgrades are nice. Details are cool. The new helmet does, though, in fact, come with that um, out of the box, ready to go. That right there. Um, also, the uh, little pieces here, the strapping uh, attachment pieces, those are done on a resin printer now instead of being uh, uh, layer printed. So it's uh, there's more detail in them. Get close. Get close. Quit focusing on me. Look at the thing. Look at it. Anyway, you get the idea. It's a uh, there's a hair. Cool. That's that doesn't come with the helmet unless you ask nicely. Um, and again, those details I was talking about, these little spots here, whoop, here. Those are cast into the helmet, which is much nicer looking, I think. Uh, and this blue is a much, much richer blue uh, than the darker one. Some people might like the dark. I don't know, because um, the white sheep suits can be kind of dark. Um, but I think even even as dark as that suit is, my V1 was a little too dark. Um, that's not Jordan's fault. That's not anybody's fault. Um, it's just suits are different. Um, 
And actually, when I ordered that helmet, I didn't have the, the white sheep suit, I don't think. I think I was about to order it. Doesn't matter. Um, all right, so let's see. The, v, the V1. The V1 uh, chin cup. It's hard to see. Let me unbuckle this real quick. The V1 chin cup um, went in kind of like that. Strapped in with uh, Velcro around the strapping. And it's adjustable, so you could uh, you know size it to fit your your jawline. Um, this chin cup is uh, is flexible. It's it's the uh, it's I think it's another one of the smooth on products. The helmet itself is a uh, Task 16 smooth on rubber, so it, it looks like it's a hard helmet, and people look at it and say, "Oh, that's hard." It's not not at all. It's super comfortable. Um, it's squishy, but it's not those flimsy like Halloween masks or the uh, the ones you buy off of off of like Wish or something. You don't want those. Oh, hello, focus. Um, it still holds its shape. Like I'm just I have one finger in there right now. And that's uh, oh, it's on the mic. That's holding its shape very well. Um, and that's even in the heat. Like I'll I'll put mine inside my bin, and it, it holds its shape just fine. Smooth inside, so it doesn't cut your head. I, I mentioned that because the first helmet I had was the uh, helmet from Malfet on the RPS. It's great, great helmet, and it was for for the time it was beautiful. Um, but with it being a hard resin helmet, taking it on and off my head. I would scratch my forehead right here where the eye holes were, um, and I, I cut as much as I could away. Um, that's probably because I have a big head, but also not flexible when you're trying to put it on. So my problem was to get it over my forehead, I had to have one that was too big, and it had a big gap in the back or in the front, which made it look stupid in pictures, and it wouldn't quite sit right. Um, this one, Jordan offers them in four sizes. He's got a small, medium, a large, and an extra large. They go from 22 inches to 23 to 24 to 25 max. So. Um, if you're in between, um, I'd go up one just just because it's okay to have. You can add like a pad inside your, your uh, forehead, like literally like a maxi pad to soak up your sweat, uh, which is nice. And uh, so that's what I would do. My, he my, my head's about 24, 24 and a half. Um, so I got the 25 and it fits great. Um, depending on how much hair I've got. If I've got any a haircut, it's a little bigger. Um, Let's see, back to the details. Oh yeah, 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 so the chin cup on the, the V2. So here is, again, the V2, still really smooth inside, really comfortable, still the same flexible material, the rubber, but it holds the shape great, like I'm, it's awesome. So this chin cup is different. It's, uh, it's also, it's also a, a DLP uh, 3D printed resin. So it's got a little bit different inside. Like the straps on the other one is just kind of Velcroed in there. This one, it has the built-in bars inside there, which just makes it for a cleaner appearance and more room for your chin. If you've got a pointy chin, you've got more space in there for your chin to sit. Um, and the cup just seems to kind of, it, it seems to fit better on your chin than the other one because it's not so flexible. If you have the flexible if it's pulling, it can kind of make it look uneven. Um, this is, uh, yeah, this is great. I think, I think the, the strapping kit is nicer on this one. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I think the strapping kit is much nicer on this one than the other. Uh, just like the color is better, the dark brown and the lighter stitching. It's more accurate too. Um, let's see. Of course, this is the weathered version. So you saw the clean a second ago. There's just some weathering on there, and it's hard to pick it up in the camera uh, because I've got this big light up here that's brightening everything up. But there's a there's a subtle black wash over the whole thing, um, as well as of course the the silver scuffs here and there, which really makes it look awesome. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's good stuff. So um, more cool stuff about this helmet. Let's see. So the uh, I said TAS 16 rubber. It's got the real buckle, which is the, uh, I guess, like scuba gear buckle. Whenever it was discovered online, that was that was what it was. And it just snaps on. Good to go. Um, the strapping's better. It has the lines on the strapping, the uh, the black and the uh, on the webbing there. Uh, he does offer, of course, like I said, he does. He's weathered and uh, clean. 
You can also do custom colors. So if you need a black one for like a, like a concept art version or uh, I don't know, if you want to match the blue different to your suit, you have a light blue, you want a light blue helmet, you can do that. Just talk to Jordan and he'll hook it up. Um, he also does these, of course. It's the same base helmet shape and style from Winter Soldier all the way through. So Winter Soldier, Age of Ultron, uh, Civil War, and Endgame. Same helmet. Uh, the paint deco is a little different on Winter Soldier, but it's pretty much the same on Age of Ultron, Civil War, and Endgame. Uh, I think the wings are painted differently on the sides. But I don't think this outside line is there on the Winter Soldier one. But, uh, yeah, it, it goes on super easy. I'll put it on at the end here. Um, let's see. I have notes here so I don't forget things. Um, yeah. So the, uh, the four sizes. Uh, whenever you do order this from Jordan, you're going to want to measure your head at the biggest point. So right across your eyebrows. So because your head can be multiple sizes. I've got this up here, too, just to kind of kind of show you. So whenever you measure, like, don't go up here. You're going to want to go here because that's the part right there that matters. Go around there. and You're good to go. Um, send that to you. The exact number he'll help you pick out which size you need. Uh, see um another oh another helmet so there's like there's like the, the cat toys or oh, yeah cat toys ca toys cat toys oh well um that one didn't fit me my head's too big uh that's my problem with lots of helmets that's why i have a stormtrooper because i have a giant head and that judge dread helmet's massive clone trooper helmet I had to cut it in half because big head um so i tried i tried on one of the cat toys didn't fit on uh, the bronze armory or Malfet, it's the same helmet. I'm not sure whose is whose, or if it's the same guy. It could be, I don't know. Um, like I said, decent helmet. Uh, just the hard resin, I didn't like it. And it also was, was really pokey inside, because the resin kind of pools whenever they're rotocasting it. And it can get it, have kind of jaggies in there. Um, also, it got really hot. Because it was resin, like you could feel the sun just baking your head. This doesn't happen here, because it's cool, and it's rubber, so it's going to stay kind of flexible, and it doesn't quite retain the heat that... Uh, that the resin does. Um, let's see. The uh, if you look here at the sides, uh, one more comparison, real quick, because I forgot to mention this a minute ago. So the V1. Um, the reason there's two different ones, I guess, because Jordan um, is always changing and modifying his his molds. So this was the V1. If you look up close, you can see like the uh, like the pattern, the little dots there on the uh, on the sides. And over here, a little different. Let me put them, uh, do this. let's see, there we go. Back it up. Okay, sorry, I'm terrible at this, you guys. You have to bear with me here. I'm trying to get it all in the, in the frame. Okay, there we go. So V1, V2. So the dots are a little bit larger on, on the V2, um, which is more accurate. And it just seems to be, just that much, that much better. Like there's just small details, little stuff that you wouldn't notice, like little lines here in the back, there and there. Um, I love it. I love it. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh yeah, the helmet I tried. The uh, I tried the uh, the a Peneus helmet, the two piece one that kind of goes on the back and then clamshells down over your head. That one didn't fit me either. Uh, big head problems. Um, and it's, it's also another resin helmet, another hard helmet. And now that I've tried one of these soft ones, I'm not sure I can go back to a, a resin helmet like that, especially one that covers your eyes, like a face, like a, like a cowl type thing. Um, I imagine this fits very similar over your face, not necessarily around your neck, like a Batman cowl, but like, I know Jordan makes those too, but it just goes on super, super easy. Just pop it on there. Good to go. Fasten it. Stick the Velcro where it's not where it's going to be. I'm not looking in a mirror, so let's wing it. But there we go. So pretty, uh, it's pretty good. It sits perfect. He's got the right eye shape, uh, which I've not seen on a lot of the helmets where the eyes the eyes are more uh, canted this way. So it looks strange. Um, I'll try to find a picture of my old helmet. To uh, the beard's pushing this down. Um, Try to find a picture of my old one where they kind of were like canted this way a bit. And it just makes the eyes look weird. This has that kind of angled brow, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, it fits great. It's, it's comfortable. It's light, which 
you know, if you if you're carrying around a heavy shield all day, or uh, you know, Mjolnir or anything, you know, you're used to carrying around heavy props. It's good to have something light on your head that le way at least you can breathe, and you're not having to be weighed down by some heavy helmet that's just smashing down on your head. So, yeah, just pops on, pops off, super easy. There we go. Good deal. Oops, knock things over. Um, that's that's basically it. Um, again, hit uh, hit Jordan's Ironic Armory up on Facebook or Instagram if you want to check out his helmet. He'll send you his pricing, his turnaround. Uh, I don't want to put that in the video because those things kind of change when when the price of materials changes. Uh, so talk to him, hit him up, uh, check the helmet out yourself. It's awesome, and I'll see you guys around. Peace.